Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared is equal to 15. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared is equal to this 15 can be written as 3 times 5. And from here, we divide both sides by 5. So, this 5 get cancelled with this 5. And this equation will become 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared divided by 5 is equal to 3. Now, by using this power rule, a to the power m divided by a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. This will become 3 to the power x times 5 to the power. Since this 5 has power 1 here, so this will become x squared minus 1 is equal to 3. Now, we divide both sides of this equation by 3 to the power x. At right hand side we divide by 3 to the power x. So, this 3 to the power x get cancelled with this 3 to the power x. And at left hand side we are left with 5 to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to. Now, this 3 has power 1 here. And by using this property, this 3 to the power 1 over 3 to the power x will become 3 to the power 1 minus x. Now, from here we take log of both sides. So, log of 5 to the power x squared minus 1 is equal to log of 3 to the power 1 minus x. Now, by using this log property, log of a to the power m is equal to m times log of a. This will become x squared minus 1 times log of 5 is equal to, this will become 1 minus x times log of 3. Now, we divide both sides by log of 5. So, this log of 5 will be cancelled out with this log of 5. And at left hand side, we are left with this expression x squared minus 1 is equal to this will become 1 minus x times log of 3 divided by log of 5. Next, x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x times, by using this log property, log of a divided by log of b is equal to log base b of a. This will become log base 5 of 3. Now, this one is same as 1 is same as 1 squared. So, we can write here 1 squared. And by using this uh, algebraic identity, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This uh, x squared minus 1 squared will become x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to, now if we use negative sign outside parenthesis, then this will become negative times x plus 1 times log base 5 of 3. Now, we move this whole expression to the left hand side, then this will become x plus 1 times x minus 1. This negative expression will become positive 
x minus 1 times log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression x minus 1, this expression x minus 1 is common. So, we factor out this x minus 1 and in bracket left, in bracket left this x plus 1 plus log base 5 of 3. In bracket left x plus 1 plus log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 1 plus log base 5 of 3 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 1. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, from this equation, we move these two terms to the right hand side. Then this will become x is equal to negative 1 minus log base 5 of 3. Next, x is equal to from these two terms, we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 as common factor and in bracket left. 1 plus log base 5 of 3. Now, by using this log property, log base b of b is equal to 1. We can write this one as, we can write this one as log base 5 of 5. So, this expression will become x is equal to negative 1 times we replace this one with this log base 5 of 5 plus log base 5 of 3. Now, by using this log property, log base b of m plus log base b of n is equal to log base b of m times this will become x is equal to negative 1 times log base 5 of 5 times 3. Next, x is equal to negative 1 times log base 5 of this 5 times 3 will become 15. And finally, x is equal to negative 1 times this expression negative log base 5 of 15. This is the second value of x, this is the second solution of this equation. And first we found the value of x 1 is equal to 1. So, we have two solutions of this equation. Now, let us verify these values of x. The original equation is 3 to the power x times 5 to the power x squared is equal to 15. If this solution 1 is obvious because 3 to the power 1 is 3 and 5 to the power 1 squared 5 to the power 1 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So, this is obvious. We verify this value of x to negative log base 5 of 15. So, this equation will become 3 to the power negative log base 5 of 15 times 5 to the power negative log base 5 of 15 squared is it equal to 15. Now, by using this property a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. This 3 to the power negative log base 5 of 15 may become 1 divided by 3 to the power 
log base 5 of 15 times since negative a squared is equal to positive a squared. So, we can remove this negative sign because a squared is equal to a times a. So, we can write this expression as 5 to the power log base 5 of 15 times log base 5 of 15. Is it equal to 15? Next, 1 divided by 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 times by using this property a to the power m times n is equal to a to the power m whole to the power n. This expression can be written as 5 to the power log base 5 of 15 whole to the power log base 5 of 15. Is it equal to 15? Next, 1 divided by 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 times by using this log property b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This 5 to the power log base 5 of 15 will become 15 whole to the power this power log base 5 of 15 is it equal to 15. Next 1 divided by 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 times this 15 can be written as 3 times 5 whole to the power this power log base 5 of 15 is it equal to 15. Next 1 divided by 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 times by using this property a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This will become 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 times 5 to the power log base 5 of 15. Is it equal to 15? Now, this 3 to the power log base 5 of 15 will be cancelled out with this 3 to the power log base 5 of 15. In the one time, this expression will become 5 to the power log base 5 of 15 is it equal to 15. Now, by using this log property b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This 5 to the power log base 5 of 15 will become 15 is equal to 15. You can see that uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means uh, this uh, second value of x negative log base 5 of 15 is also a valid solution.